Welcome to Chemisode Unit 2. This is, um, I have no idea what number Chemisode this is, but it's on molarity and molar concentration. So we're going to be doing some calculations. So what you should do is go get a calculator handy. First things first, get a calculator. Let's have a look at things that you should know how to do already. Um, basically, prior knowledge to this, you should be able to calculate the number of moles, and that's using N equals M over MR, this little formula right here. You should be able to do that. You should also know how to rearrange an equation. So basically straight from um, your maths lessons, um, you should be able to rearrange an equation to make something else the subject. Here are your keywords. Um, you should be able to use these in sentences by the end of the video um, and be at the end of the, the series of three videos that we have for this actually. This is the first of three videos. Um, let's have a look at what molarity actually is. Um, molarity is the concentration of a solution expressed in moles per litre. So a mole is a measurement of how much substance you have. So just like we have grams, just like we have um, other things like that, we have, can have a certain number of mole of particles. So molarity is moles per litre. We use a formula being C, being the concentration, equals number of moles divided by the volume. Now, concentration is measured in capital M, which is molar. So, uh, one molar concentration is basically represented as one M. This is moles per litre, or moles litre negative one. All these guys mean the same unit. So, normally concentration is given to you in capital M, or one of these type of units. Basically, they're interchangeable. Just means moles per litre. N is your number of moles, so you need to be able to calculate that. Obviously, prior knowledge should be able to calculate the number of moles. And volume is, well, V is volume, and it's always measured in litres. Because you're doing concentration per litre, you always have to have your, your volume in litres. Now, just looking at this equation quickly, we can transform this equation or rearrange it to make N the subject, because sometimes you will need to do that as well. You will need to change and work out the number of moles you actually need. So you can find out concentration like this, or you can find out number of moles. You need to be able to transpose that anyway. Um, I'll go into um, a new way of doing this. So instead of me trying to do them on a PowerPoint slide, what I'll do is actually film myself answering these questions on a piece of paper. So um, the next voice you'll hear, or the next video you'll see, is me writing out these on a piece of paper and showing you my working out how I calculate molarity. Right, so here's me explaining how to do some of these calculations in concentration. So uh, I've got the questions here that you saw in the in the keynote presentation, and now let's look at how we're actually going to answer these questions. So first one is, 200 grams of silver nitrate is added to 500 mils of water. Calculate the concentration of this solution. So obviously we're calculating concentration, so the first thing I'm going to do is write down my equation. N, so C equals N over V. So it's concentration equals number of moles divided by volume. I know my volume, it's 500 mils. Now remember, volume always needs to be in litres, so this is 0.5 litres. I want to know my number of moles, but I've got grams. So what I need to first of all do is convert my grams into number of moles. So what I'm going to do is go number of moles of silver nitrate, NAgNO3, equals my mass divided by my molar mass. So this is going to be equal to 200 grams, obviously, divided by my molar mass of silver nitrate, which is 107.87 for silver, plus 14 for nitrogen, plus uh, 48 for three lots of um, oxygen there. So that's going to be 200 over, let me just work that out, equals... 169.87 and then I'm going to do this which is going to be equals 1.18 mole okay so that's how many mole I have of silver nitrate so now I've got my number of mole so my number of moles is this I can work out my concentration 
So I'll buy my concentration of AgNO3. Now I use square brackets to denote concentration. It's just a way of writing concentration. So square brackets means concentration all the time. So concentration of silver nitrate equals number of moles over volume equals 1.18 over 0 0.5, because my volume, remember, is 0.5 litres, equals 2.36 capital M for molar. So therefore my concentration of silver nitrate in this solution where I've dissolved 200 grams in 500 mils of water is 2.36 molar. Now, I've always had to go and write down my equation, how I'm working it out. I work out my number of moles if I need to, and then plug it into my actual values there. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, so my next question is calculate the, sorry, shouldn't be number of mass, it should just be calculate the mass of sodium chloride required to make 1.2 litres of a 0.5 molar sodium chloride solution. So how much am I going to need to put in there? So obviously I'm dealing with um, solutions and concentrations because this means concentration, this is obviously volume. So I'm going to write C equals N over V straight away. I'm going to write down the, the um, equation that I know I need to use. What I'm then going to do is I need to calculate a mass. So obviously to find a mass I need to work out my number of moles first of all. And also by looking at this I've got volume and I've got concentration. The only thing I don't know is number of moles which tells me I'm going to need to calculate that as well. So I'm going to rearrange this equation number of moles equals C times V. Okay so rearranging this equation multiply both sides by V I get number of moles equals C times V. This equals 1.2 times 0.5, which equals 0.6 mole of sodium chloride. Okay, so I've written down my equation, I've rearranged my equation, and I've found my number of mole of sodium chloride. Notice I've actually written of sodium chloride, just so I know what that number of mole is of. I then go number of moles equals mass over molar mass, and I can rearrange this equation as well to mass equals number of moles times molar mass. So this is equal to my mass of sodium chloride is 0 0.6 times my molar mass of sodium chloride, which is 58.45, is equal to, let's have a look, 0 0.6 multiplied by 58.45 and equals is 35.07 grams. Notice I'm writing down my equation each time and I'm thinking what do I need to calculate. I've got this, I need to find mass, so obviously I need to find the number of mole first of all. This guy, capital M, means concentration, litres is obviously your volume. Okay, so that's doing the second one there. Each time writing down my equation, rearranging it if I need to, and so on and so forth. Let's go have a look at the third one. Okay, the third one. We've got calculate the number of mole of sodium chloride required to make 3 litres of 1.5 molar sodium chloride solution. So what I want to do, again, I'm using concentration and volume, so obviously I need to write down C equals N over V. Okay, my relationship between concentration, number of moles, and volume. I rearrange this because I want to find number of mole. It tells me I want to find my number of mole to N equals C times V. Okay, so that's my rearrangement. This will tell me my number of mole. This is equal to my concentration, which is 1.5 multiplied by my volume, which is 3 litres, no need for conversion because it's already in litres, equals 4.5 mole of sodium chloride. So here you can see I've gone and I've worked out my number of mole that are required to make this solution here, this amount of this solution. I can stop it there because all I wanted to find out was number of mole. I didn't need to go into maths because it didn't ask me for that in the question. So the important thing is to read the questions in these, in these 
um, problems as well. Read the questions are really important. Let's go have a look at the last one. All right, so my last problem here is 10 grams of lithium sulfate is added to 50 mils of water. Calculate the concentration of lithium ions in the solution. Now, um, something I haven't done in these two problems here, which I really should have done, which I did in class on the board, is to write brackets with what this thing is. So I'm going to write in brackets here anyway. So I've got lithium sulfate. I've got a, the number of grams. So I'm going to write down C equals N over V. I need to find um, my number of moles first of all. So I'm going to write number of moles of Li2SO4 because this is going to be really important later on because I want to know exactly what I'm calculating the number of moles of. So lithium sulfate, I've got 10 grams, so it's 10 divided by. Um, lithium is 7, so 7 plus 7 plus 32 is um, sulfur plus 64 is 4 oxygens. So I add all those together, and let's have a look what I end up with. I think I end up with 110. Okay, so that equals, let's just go for it, equals 10 divided by 110, is 0.09 mole of lithium sulfate. So what I then do is obviously I've got my number of mole, I can bang that into my concentration. So concentration of lithium sulfate equals 0 0.09 divided by my volume. It's 50 mils of water. This is 0 0.05 litres. So 0 0.05. And that equals, let me have a look, 0 0.05, 1.8 molar. It's a 1.8 molar solution of lithium sulfate. But if I read the question, it says calculate the concentration of lithium ions, not lithium sulfate, lithium ions. So what I'm going to do is I want to find out concentration of lithium ions, lithium positive. Seeing in my molecule here, I've got two lithium ions. So the number of lithium ions I have by themselves, once it's in solution, this will break apart into two. So I'll go 1.8 times 2 equals 3.6 molar of actual lithium ions. It's the small differences between your product or your actual compound and your ion. So the number of mole, or so the concentration of lithium ions is actually 3.6 molar. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, and this will be the end of this video. And the next video you will look at is on dilutions. And we'll have a look at dilutions. Thank you.